today on MTG Unpacked, it's time for another Commander Snack. So this is a series where we highlight a different legendary creature each episode, and then we go digging through the packs looking for creatures of the same tribe. So today's patron is White Out. Thank you for being a patron. Let's check out today's Commander. It's a mythic. We have Mavinda, Students Advocate, if I can get it in focus. Legendary Creature, Bird Advisor, 2-3 for 3 with Flying. And for 0 you may cast Target Instant or Sorcery card from your graveyard this turn. If that spell doesn't target a creature you control, it costs 8 more to cast this way. And if that spell would be put into your graveyard, exile it instead, activate only once each turn. Okay, so very interesting ability there. So we're looking for birds and advisors. I don't know how, how many advisors there are, but there should be a bunch of birds in these packs. So I've tried to uh, pick the packs that will get us the best chance of that. Okay, let's do things in this order. And the patrons also get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck. Okay, starting off with some Ikoria here. We have Capture Sphere for all your Pokemon needs, Lava Serpent, Blade Banish, and actually, yeah, I need to be paying attention, Durable Coil Bug, Fertilid, Thwart the Enemy, Patagia Tiger, Shredded Sails, Hampering Snare, Evolving Wilds, Fantastic and Uncommons, Valiant Rescuer, Jubilant Skybonder, there are birds in the picture, I'm including it. Dire Tactics, and the rare is Dranith Magistrate. Not bad at all, creature, human, wizard, one, three, for two. Your opponents can't cast spells from anywhere other than their hands. Okay, pop that over there. And an island and human soldier. And no, I will not be going back through the cards and finding anything with a single seagull in the artwork. That would be ridiculous. On to Core 2021. Let's see what we get here. So we get a Pirate Token. I'll throw that in. That's pretty cool. A Forest Foil Legion's Judgment. And the rare is Shacklegeist. Creature Spirit 2-2 two, two for 2 with Flying. Shacklegeist can block only creatures with Flying. Tap to untap Spirits you control. You get to tap target creature you don't control. The Blessed Sleep doesn't come easily. To a mind chained by regrets, indeed. Pestilent Haze for the Uncommons Wildwood Scourge. Um, maybe over a buck, I'm going to check it in, I'm not quite sure on that one. Gourmand. And Commons Turret Ogre, Gnarled Sage. Basri Zacolite, Anointed Chorister, Blood Glutton. Satessan Training, Valorous Steed. Igneous Cur and Lofty Denial. Okay, so no birds in that one. Alas, Zendikar Rising. So we've got a set booster here, which means I'll be chucking in the art cards and anything from the list. Okay, this one again, I think we got a uh, signed version the other day. So this is Cliffhaven Cell Sword. Yep, that was the one. We've got a very nice Full Art Island, Skyclave Squid, McKindy Ox, Dreadworm, Spoils of Adventure, Journey to Oblivion, Allied Assault, Canyon Jaboa, Showcase, Expedition Healer, Sizzling Barrage, and the rare is Linvala, Shield of Seagate, Ledrain Creature Angel Wizard 333 with Flying, at the beginning of combat on your turn, if you have a full party, choose target, non-land, permanent, and opponent controls. Until your next turn, it can't attack or block, and its activated abilities can't be activated. And if you sacrifice Linvala, you get to choose Hexproof or Indestructible Creatures you control. Gain that ability until end of turn. And a Foil Ameria Captain. And what is the list? I wish they would show us. And if you missed the other video earlier today, I'll chuck a link in the corner. Some pretty spicy stuff in that one, some crazy pulls. So I've been on a bit of a streak the past couple of days, not sure what's up with that. Okay, this guy, and this is probably where the streak is ending, so oh well. Uh, we've got Nafi, Betrayer, King, Volatile Fjord, let's throw that in. 
Horizon Seeker, Grizzled Outrider, Elderleaf Mentor, Roots of Wisdom, Sculptor of Winter, Divine Gambit, Spectral Steel, Axgard Armory, Blessing of Frost is rare. It says Snow Sorcery, if you've ever heard of such a thing. For four, distribute X plus one plus one counters among any number of creatures you control, where X is the amount of snow mana spent to cast this spell. Then draw a card for each creature you control with power four or greater. A friend of Yawn is never cold, apparently. And a pilfering hawk. Ah, I nearly skipped over it. Snow creature bird, one, two, for two with flying. Pay a snow mana tap, draw a card, then discard a card. Nice. And a foil King Nafi's Betrayal. So that's one of those sagas. And totally lost, not us. Because we found a bird, finally. Okay, Strixhaven. You just know there are tons of birds in this one. And the pack just is disintegrating. I think they must be using some sort of new material. Because that doesn't normally happen. Alright, ooh, that looks striking. What on earth am I looking at here? Some fire and ice. Magma Opus, gotta love the pun there. Okay, we've got an island. Environmental Sciences Square Up. Serpentine Curve. Dina Soul Steeper. Tend the Pests, one of these days I'll build that deck. Demogoth Woe Eater. I twitch. Um, it's a bat, not a bird, okay? Moving on, Academic Dispute. And the rare is Multiple Choice. Sorcery for X and a blue. If X is one, scry one, then draw a card. If X is two, you may choose a player. They return a creature they control to its owner's hand. If X is three, create a four, four blue and red elemental creature token. If X is four or more, do all of the above. Have you actually managed that? Leave a note in the comments. And Mystical Archives, we've got Divine Gambit, Foil Rare, Torrent Sculptor, nice. And on the other side, we have Flamethrower Sonata. And study up on the story of Strixhaven. Do you know all the lore of Strixhaven? What do you think? Is it good or bad or ugly or somewhere in between? Let me know. And Throne of Eldraino, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new video is released. Okay, MTG Arena, a swamp. And we are building the suspense. And looks like we've got a foil as well. Okay, uncommons we have Bog Naughty, Inspiring Veteran. Archon of Absolution, it is a flyer but it's not a bird so I'm skipping it. Uh, you know what? Yeah, yeah, we'll skip it. Red Cat Raiders, Creature Goblin Warrior, Foreboding Fruit, True and Veil, Tree Folk, Wolf's Quarry, Merchant of the Veil, Prized Griffin. Okay, you know what? I twisted my own arm. I feel uh, sorry for you, White Out. Let's throw in some of those flyers here. Prized Griffin, enjoy. Okay, we've got an Eye Collector. And op, op, one more opt and silver flame ritual. Okay, so a foil and a rare or mythic. So what do we get here? Out flank is the foil. The foil is really subtle on that one. Okay, and finally happily ever after. It's an enchantment for three. When it enters the battlefield, each player gains five life and draws a card. And at the beginning of your upkeep, if there are five colors among permanents you control, there are six more card types among permanents you control, and all cards in your graveyard, and your life total is greater than or equal to your saying life total, you win the game. I would hope so, with all those uh, legalese conditions there. Is that something you've actually pulled off? Leave a note in the comments. Okay, so scooping up the birds here. Didn't get too many birds today, alas, but we did get some flying creatures. So enjoy the pools there, white out, let's pop those in there, hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.